Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am HS Raj and you are watching Code Freaks. In this video, I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So in this video, I am going to show a new task that remove the duplicate characters from the string. So this is very very easy. So let me tell about this question. So we were our particular task. Actually, I am giving the input as hello hey guys. So this is my string input. Okay. So this is my string input. So after removing all the duplicate elements my, from this string, I got the output as hello hey, this like this. Okay. So here we can be able to see that here h is a uh, duplicate element. Okay. Here this l this l is having duplicate. See this there are two l here so it is a duplicate element and here y is a duplicate see here two y are there so it is a duplicate so here two h is there so it is also a duplicate element okay so consider this as a lower case okay so this is a lower case so it can be uh, suitable for upper, upper case also so for your understanding i am putting it as lower case okay so here this h is a duplicate element and here this uh, uh, so totally there are three duplicate elements this h l and uh, y okay so after this after removing this h l and y we will be getting the output like this okay so this is my uh, final output so let me enter into the coding so the coding is actually very very easy so let me enter into the coding section okay so guys finally I am entering into the coding session so in this coding session I am using java as my programming language and I am using visual studio code as my code editor so guys I am going to begin my coding so I think that everybody understood the question uh, so my question is to uh, remove the number of remove the duplicate elements to remove the duplicate characters from the string so guys finally I am entering into the coding so I am creating a new class known as duplicate so uh, guys I am going to create a new class known as duplicate dot java so i created a new file name called duplicate dot java okay so i am going to initialize a main method and i am going to initialize a scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot in okay i am going to import this scanner class import java dot util dot scanner so here small mistake okay so i am going to buy a string input first so because I am going to remove the duplicate characters from the string okay I am going to buy, uh, buy a string input so string str equal to sc dot next line okay so then I am going to put string uh, initialize a string value as null okay so string value as null and then I am putting a uh, for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than str dot length and i plus plus okay so inside that for loop i am putting in another for loop okay i will be explaining this question don't worry j equal less than or equal to i and j plus plus okay then i will be putting an if condition my if condition is that if i equal to equal to j then my s equal to s plus str dot caret of i okay so then if uh, this condition is not satisfied else if str dot caret of i equal to str dot caret of j if this condition is satisfied then i will be breaking okay so this much is my coding so uh, then after printing all i will be print, uh, printing it after uh, finding all i will be finally printing my output okay so my output will be initialized in this portion so i will be printing this much okay so i am going to explain this coding so for that i will be taking a string input as hello okay so i am going to remove uh, this l because this is having the uh, this is having the duplicate element l is uh, repeated twice okay so i am going to re uh, remove this l okay so for uh, for that i will be uh, firstly uh, putting here okay for your understanding i will be putting here okay so let me uh, firstly begin the for loop firstly start with the for loop i initialize this string as null for, for <coughs> firstly i begin the for loop so the for loop uh, everybody knows that uh, string s equal to null 
and for i equal to zero, i less than string dot length, str dot length, str dot length is five, str dot length is five. Okay, uh, this string is having five length, so I will be writing five. Okay, so uh, j equal to zero, j less than or equal to i, so i is equal to zero, so j equal to zero, so if j i equal to j, so i equal to equal to j, so i equal to zero and j equal to zero, so zero equal to zero. So then it will be executing this. So s equal to s plus str dot caret of i. So str dot caret of i for uh, caret of i is zero. See caret of i i is zero. So str dot caret of i is first element h. Okay. So h will be written first. Okay. H will be written first. So then I will be this uh, zero will be incremented and then it will be moved into this uh, for loop and then. 0 less than or equal to 1 0 will be incremented to 1 ok so then it will be the i will be 1 on then uh, 0 less than or equal to 1 so condition is true then it will be coming here 0 is equal to equal to 1 so it will be checking so it is not equal to 1 so it will be mm, checking here else if uh, it will be checking here so 0 is equal uh, str dot character of uh, i equal to equal to str dot character of j so 0 equal to 1 so this condition is not satisfied ok so 0 here and e l e this e here ok so 0 uh, h is not equal to equal to a e h is not equal to equal to e ok so then this condition is not satisfied then it will be uh, coming here so then it will be putting uh, j, j will be incremented as 1 and 1 less than or equal to 1 okay so then here 1 equal to 1 so then condition is satisfied then s equal to uh, h plus str dot character of uh, 1 so 1 is e okay so uh, condition is true then it will be printing e so because 1 equal to equal to 1 and then it will be com coming inside and then it will be printing s equal to s plus str dot uh, uh, character of 1 so 1 is e so then h plus e equal to h e ok then i uh, see this 0 will be incremented to 2 ok so then it will be coming here and then j equal to 2 j 0 less than or equal to 2 then it will be coming here and 0 equal to equal to 2 so it will be checking so it is not equal to equal to 2 and then it will be coming here str dot character of i equal to equal to str dot character of j it will be checking str dot character of 0 equal to equal to str dot character of 2 ok so str dot character of 2 equal to equal to str dot character of uh, 0 ok uh, ok so i uh, will be checking it uh, here j equal to equal to 0 right h uh, l uh, i equal to equal to uh, uh, 3 right no 2 so here l l is in the uh, second index so uh, l is will be 2 so then uh, it is not equal to equal to 2 then uh, it will be uh, incremented to 1 ok so 1 less than or equal to 2 so here 1 is equal to equal to 2 it will be checking it is not equal to 2 then it will be coming here and then uh, str dot character of uh, uh, 2 equal to equal to str dot character of 1 ok so this l equal to equal to e it will be checking so it is not equal to equal to uh, l l is not equal to equal to e then it will be coming here and then for in the j equal to 2 j less than or uh, j less than or equal to e 2 and then it will be coming here so 2 equal to equal to 2 condition is true then s equal to s plus caret of 2 then it will be printing here l s equal to s is already he then str dot caret of 2 is l so here it will be uh, H E plus L equal to H E L. Okay, so then it will be printing as H E L. Okay, so then it will be coming here, and then J uh, I will be incremented as three. Okay, then it will be coming inside, and then it will be uh, it will be coming inside, and then it will be uh, then uh, uh, I will be three. Then it will be coming inside, and then J will be becoming as zero. Then j equal to uh, 3 equal to equal to 0, it will be checking. And then the if uh, j equal to equal to 0, uh, then uh, if then 3 equal to equal to 0, it will be checking. So it is not equal to 0, then it will be checking str dot uh, character of 3 equal to equal to str dot character of 0. 
it will be not equal to zero. Then it will, j will be incremented as one, and then one less than or equal to three, and then it will be uh, one equal to equal to three. It will be checking it is not equal to equal to three, and then it will be coming inside uh, here uh, in the else condition, and it will be checking str str dot caret of three equal to uh, equal to str dot caret of one. So str dot caret of three. So third is here, and one is here. Okay. So it will be checking it is not equal and then it will be coming here and then it will be 2 2 equal to equal to 3 not equal and then str dot caret of uh, 2 equal to equal to no 3 equal to equal to str dot caret of 2 okay so it will equal so okay it is equal l equal to l okay so this condition is satisfied then it will be breaking breaking means as you study it right break it will be break okay so then the next condition will be executed i will be incremented as 4 and then j equal to equal to 0 uh, j less than or equal to 4 and then 4 equal to equal to j 4 equal to equal to 0 then it will be not uh, executed and then it will be coming inside the else condition and then 4 equal to equal to str dot character of 4 equal to equal to str dot character of 0 and then it will be checking so it is not equal so then it will be coming here and then as usual so uh, finally it come into uh, the l will be uh, you see it will be uh, equating with 4 so these three elements these four elements will be equating with 4 finally it come into so o so finally this will be executed of uh, uh, executed at uh, 4 so str dot character of s plus str dot character of 4 okay so then it will be o so okay so H G L O is my final output. Okay. So this much is the coding, guys. So finally, I am going to enter into the output session. So uh, I think that everybody understood the coding. So if not, if you didn't understood it, please uh, comment in the comment box. I will be surely replying it to your comment. Okay. So I uh, will be then moving into the output session, guys. Okay. So guys, finally I am entering into the output session. So in this output session, I will be showing the uh, output of my code that I have written before. So I am going to enter into it. So I am giving a particular string input as uh, hello. So I think that everybody understood the question, right? The question is to remove the duplicate character from a string. Okay. So I am going to give a string input. Hello. Okay. So here it appears as this one. Okay, so it uh, uh, removes the two L and uh, uh, replaces with the uh, only single L will be appearing. Okay, so I am going to put an another string and uh, the string is hello. Okay, okay. so here it also appears, uh, it, uh, after removing it, it appears like this. So the third test case, so the third test case will be some error, I think so. I will check it out. Hello, hey, hey, guys. Okay, so here when you see that it will calculate the, the the space also is repeating two times. Okay, so it calculates the space and it removes that space and it will be only single space. Okay, so uh, for this I will be put, uh, uh, I will be giving a small change in my code. See here in this else part no else part I will be putting and 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 str dot caret of i is not equal to space okay so then i am uh, running it and then i am putting it as hello hey guys see my output appears like this after removing the output my output appears like this okay so this is my final output guys so we are done with it so i guess i am keep on saying that do practice daily and daily so that you can be able to crack easily the 50 mark question because the 50 mark question when you appear for the ipa exam it will be becoming more harder and harder so when you crack this it will be very much useful guys okay so let me meet you in the next session okay so till then bye bye see you good night